America's under threat, and it looks a lot like this. They will not come into our homes and take away our rights. A small group of armed right-wing activists have occupied a federal wildlife facility in Oregon in what they call a stand against the tyranny of the federal government. And this oppressive, tyrannical government. Sounds extreme, but their actions aren't new or isolated. Rather, they're part of a long American tradition. These men are part of the Patriot Movement, which consists of hundreds of right-wing groups and heavily armed militias united by an anti-government ideology. So where did it come from? The Patriot Movement exploded when Obama was elected in 2008. And while several of today's right-wing groups aren't explicitly racist, some of their ideas are rooted in the white supremacist reaction to the Civil Rights Movement. In the 70s and 80s, a group called Posse Comitatus believed a secret group of Jews controlled the country and that black Americans weren't really citizens because the 14th Amendment wasn't legitimate. But some of their other ideas have become common talking points in the Patriot Movement today. We do know that a lot of these talking points and tactics, like um, it's ideas of nullification, that uh, the county or state governments don't have to follow federal laws, that the county sheriff is the highest uh, authority in the county, that uh, right-wingers, radical right-wingers should form militias, that they can um, interpret the Constitution with more authority than the Supreme Court can, um, are all ideas that came out of a 1970s white supremacist group called Posse Comitatus. So when did these right-wing groups gain steam? Right after the 1993 Waco siege, when federal agents attempted to seize illegal guns from a religious group's compound. To patriots, the violent response of the federal officials confirmed their fears of living under a government that was coming for their guns and was willing to kill its own citizens. Over the years, membership of patriot groups died down, but the number of these groups surged after the election of America's first black president. At the beginning of Obama's first term, there were about 150 patriot groups. In 2012, that number ballooned to more than 1,300. One of the most notable and influential, the Tea Party. I think what the patriot movement has been successful at doing is sort of blending and coding or kind of masking over some of these racist ideas and sort of putting them through a funnel of anti-government rhetoric. Fast forward to 2014 when Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy refused to pay fees for grazing his cattle on federal land. Hundreds of armed militiamen from the Patriot Movement showed up to defend him against federal law enforcement. Federal officials had confiscated Bundy's herd, but fearing another Waco, they eventually backed down at gunpoint. Bundy won and it energized the Patriot Movement. And now the occupation of the wildlife refuge in Oregon led by his sons has become the latest rallying point for Patriots. While a lot of the anger of these patriot movement groups is fueled by conspiracy theories that range from the government wanting to seize Americans' guns to the implementation of Sharia law, there are also legitimate grievances about federal handling and distribution of resources. And that speaks to a lot of Americans. So who does the patriot movement speak for, and can it become the new mainstream?